So I'm just going to talk about simple fills and shading in Clip Studio Paint specifically. I'm going to take the magic wand and uh, go over outside of the lines. Go to selection, expand selected area. I usually buy, do it by one pixel um, so that it doesn't stick out. Then I go to invert selected area. I go on the layer that I want to do my colors and I fill it in. After that, I can take away the selection and go to um, lock transparency. What I want for the rest of this is to make sure that my fill bucket is set to multiple references and that it's on the second to the left with the lighthouse icon. From there, I want to set my line art to a reference layer and click the lighthouse icon as well. So now I can make sure I get all the colors that I want on my fill layer. Because I have the line art set as the reference layer, it is acting as though I am on that layer, and those are the borders. The next step, which is the shading, will basically use the same method, but on its own layer. So as you can see, it's basically a repeated step, and I know that you can't see the shading yet. But we're going to go ahead and fill in, since we still have the line art set to reference, and we have the fill bucket set to react to reference layers. And all we need to do now is set the shading layer to multiply mode. 